Finally, we need to compile the mesh for XNA Lara. So go to the folder where you exported it to, open it with Notepad, open the generic item file with Notepad, and then scroll down, or you can just press Control F and type V E R T, and then just press Enter, and it finds the first mesh. So for some reason it hasn't named it properly, even though we named it. Hmm. Oh, that's the other hand. Right. Doesn't matter, just name it to hand left 0 0.100, 0 0, like that. And then click here and change the one textures to three so here you've already got the diffuse texture described as announcer underscore blue dot bmp after it says zero uv layer index click there and then press enter to put a line after it and then type announcer lightmap dot bmp as another line press zero then add a third line and write announcer underscore normal dot bmp then add another line and put a zero there too if you forget the zeros the mesh won't convert and it won't be usable so you need to put those zeros in after each texture name then just press control f and scroll for the next mesh part it's called hand so you can change that just to hand right change it to, from one texture to three where it says announcer blue underneath just you know continue doing this new line announcer lightmap.bmp zero zero no not zero sorry announcer normal dot bmp another line zero then go to the next mesh part it's i whites dot zero zero one so just rename it to five underscore i white underscore zero point one underscore zero underscore zero. You can leave the texture as one, just leave it how it is. Go on to the next part is i whites. Okay, um, I'm lost now. Go back to Blender and find out which part i whites. Right, so i whites dot zero zero one is i irises. So go back up. To I whites, so change that to four I irises, change it to two textures, and change the texture from I whites diffuse to I irises diffuse, and add another texture. Like that, I irises underscore bump dot png. And then go to the next part, no, which is actual I whites, and then put a five underscore I whites underscore zero point one zero zero. You can leave that one how it is. Go on to the next one, which is the mouth. You want to put two underscore uh, mouth underscore zero point one underscore zero underscore zero. On to the next part, which is the face. The face is already done. We did that one ourselves but you want to change this to two textures and then add another line announcer head lightmap dot bmp and then zero and then go to the this one which is the body I think this is the last mesh part three textures announcer lightmap dot bmp announcer normal.bmp still don't forget the zeros right that's the last part so then just click save wait for it to save it you'll know it's saved because this starts working again you can select parts so then double click or just convert the generic item dot mesh dot ascii into dot mesh um, if you've got a dot obj in here as well, you want to change this. You just want to. I'm just going to delete it for now, so that XNA Lara will work. Then load XNA Lara.
file add model. If you did everything right, the model should load, and I forgot to copy textures over. So you've got black eyes and a black mouth, so you want to remove the model, minimize it all, obviously, and then find Lara Casual. So there's three textures, you've got eye irises, eye irises bump, eye whites, and the mouth, mouth diffuse, mouth light, map and mouth bump. So copy all of them, go back to your announcer folder and just paste them all in there. And go back to X and a, Lara. I'm just, you don't need to see all this. Um, So there's your model. Should be rigged ish. Yeah, see that's rigged well on the ankle there. Just test the most obvious areas like the legs and that kind of area. Yeah, that's all well rigged. Don't forget the hands and the mouth, like the jaw, for example. Don't forget to check that. I think that's quite well rigged. There's an error or two there, but. That really can't be helped, and I really can't be bothered to explain how to correct it. I think that's a really good mouth rig there. Test the lips. Just test the model in general, try and load poses and that kind of stuff onto it. I don't really need to explain how to do that. So there's your rig model. Oh, the hand normals are weird. Oh. Reload your model copy, uh, in Blender, file new, erase all, yes, import, mesh file, import the model again, select the left hand, edit it, control F, flip normals again, sorry, made a mistake. Uh, file export export it again and then just convert it straight away you don't need to change anything just convert it immediately when you start testing your model you'll find errors like this for example this can obviously look really bloody ugly and ruins the atmosphere so what you want to do is go back to blender file new erase all file import your mesh script whichever one you use import your model again select the skeleton x-ray and then click here and click pose mode and then click this green donut here to enter rotate mode so what you want to do is select this bone here and just rotate and you can see look that's really hideous so right uh, yeah right click here and then click object and then click weight paint right click on this bone here and you'll notice there's no bone weights for it but there's bone weights for this wrist so right click here and then just left click over here like that and it just adds weights to the model in that area and then it's just done and then you can exit and then file export again when it's done just convert it all very tedious
this time when you load a post there shouldn't be a problem hopefully I say that confidently I've really got no idea I'm just begging that this will work So yeah, the model is rigged pretty well, I think. Congratulations! And then you can just release it or whatever you want. So that's my first video tutorial. I'm Carvin T. You've just learned how to rig a model for Exene Lara with faces and fingers and various other tip bits. And then, congratulations! Post your comments below. Um, lay into me if you want, I'm not very good at this, so thank you, bye.